Okay, so here we are today uh, with, uh, tell me how you say your name. Is it Angel? Uh, yeah, in English it's Angel, in, Sp in Espanol it's Angel. Okay, all right. Um, and you are Dr. Hidalgo? Yes. Yes, okay. So I don't know anything about you. So we're just going to kind of start at the basic, um, kind of tell me, who you are and um, I don't know, what's your, what's your interest in attraction to uh, running for school board? Okay, um, I was born in Cuba. Um, I immigrated to the United States in 1995. And then I living all the time in Texas, first in El Paso, Texas, and then Dallas forward. And then I moved to this area, to Arlington area, because I work in DCC, Southeast Campus. Um, I'm interested to run because my brother was in the army and he told me I need to do something for school education because the United States school system gives me everything, you know, as a student, as educator, why, why I don't give something, you know? to the United States system education. I say, okay, and this is the reason I'm running for a school board. Okay, so to give back to exactly. the education system that did well for you, right? Uh, very well, very, but very well. Yeah, all my uh, studies, you know, the education was in the United States. I get in first my GED, and then my associate degree in Tanger County College, then my bachelor's degree in UTA in Arlington, and then my master's degree in UNT in the North Texas, the University of the North Texas, and then my PhD in Oklahoma, Norma, Oklahoma. Okay. And so, um, Mansfield, um, tell me what your connection is to Mansfield. I have a, you know, very tight connection with Mansfield because I have a student right now from Memphis in my class in TCC, do I credit? This is the reason we we know Memphis ISD because they come into us or sometimes yes. we go to Memphis High School to teach. That Also, I do community service in the library in Grand Perry and I have a lot of children. I teach children the seven years old to 12 and adults, you know. Um, and they coming from Memphis too, because it's all the metro place area can go over there because it's for free. Gotcha. Okay. So um, what would you say would be your favorite memory um, that's related to your own education? The opportunities. And this is the reason I want to give opportunity for all, because I believe in American education system. I, you only need to want to do something and the door is open for you. And this is the reason also I want to do it because I want to tell the student, you can do anything you want if you want, because the door always are open for you. Yeah, I think um, sometimes people don't understand opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. And, and this is a, this is a, Main reason I like I, I used to talk with my students because they always asking a question about it and I say you have many many opportunities. The only thing you need to prepare is looking for the what you're looking for the best for you and the door always is open. The United States education system is very very good. I come in here with the, with nothing and look at me right now with a PhD, you know, and they never told me no. The only thing I need to do is, you know, do what I have to do, you know, apply and then get good grades. In that way, they keep going to support you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think that we uh, as Americans appreciate the opportunities that we have here. Um, and that's kind of sad. But uh, what what would you say your um, your core values are that help you um, in your decision making? Um, when I start, I start as like assistant teacher. I start in the elementary school, in special education. This time, 
when I, I was over there, is when I decided to do this, become an educator. Because I working with the Latina girl, she have low moral skill, and she cannot hold the the spoon to eat because she she disability. And I teach her how to do it. And when her mom come in one day and see it, she start to cry and take me for what I do. And for me, I don't do nothing. I just spend time with her every time in the lunch, every day, the Monday to Friday. And then I say, oh, I am really good for this. Let me start my career in education. And this is what I, what I start to pursue the education career. Okay. Um, so I'm sure you've got one of these, but uh, a significant challenge that you have faced that um, you overcame. The challenge always right now is technology. Because <laughs> I'm with you. Technology is. <laughs> because the new generation, they learn with technology. Yes. And important for us we learn with the pencil or with the pen and right now everything all the tool you have for example in the classroom for example to me i i teach spanish everything i do is online you know i display the book online i put the test online i need to grade the paper online this is this is a very the, the challenge for us because we need to adapt to them no, yes. then adapt to us. This is very important. You need to adapt to the student. No, the student adapt to you. Do Do you think that's a major uh, challenge for any school district, for any university? Is the whole technology and the and the online? Yes, because when you when you teach online, okay, it's not very personal. You know, you you don't you don't see a student uh, and. And then also, when you do um, like hybrid, it's better. You know, you have a student in classroom, and then they can do the thing online. And then they, they understand more what you try to say or whatever instruction you have. In in college, we have in-person class with the uh, Memphis IRD student and Arlington. They have, they, they come to us but they need to do most of the thing online. Okay. So what are your um, hobbies? What do you like to do on the weekend? Oh, I am a writer. I wrote many books. Yeah. I like am like a, what kind of books? I, I, I write fantasy book. It's no fiction book. My first book was um, about Cuba, you know, because I was born over there. I want to talk about the communist regime in Cuba, how it's working. But I create the the the, the novel. I never write anything in reality. Everything is fiction. Yeah, I have like six books I read, published. This is what in my home. Also, sometimes run. <laughs> I spend time with my friends, with my family. This is important to me with my brother talk to him about anything. May is, your, is your brother in the area? Uh, He's living in forward. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's living in forward with his family, his daughter, uh, his son, and his wife. Okay. Um, is there anything specific that you're hoping to accomplish on um, the school board? Yes. I want to be, I, I want to be very close uh, working with the disability student because this is what I began a teacher. I want to work in with them. I want to see what tool they have for disability student, what they they need more to be successful, you know? Because for example, in TCC, we working with them. They come into the class, if they, they cannot, they are mute. We have people coming and translate for them or if they cannot, you know, visual, they cannot see. We have computer for them and, and everything. We are prepared for, for them. This is what I want to, to see immensely ISD have in the middle school, high school, or elementary school. 
Okay. Um, and, and one last question for you. Um, if you were to look back at yourself as a young boy, what advice would you give to yourself? Yeah, but I, I always don't, I, I don't believe what the people tell you mm. because the time that people tell you something is not true. And don't, don't, when you are the children, you are very innocent. Sometimes you do talking point, try to tell you something is not, is not true. For example, when, when you teach, you can see all the students together. They're working together. They are not separate each other. They don't care about anything to prepare each other. But when they get out from the room, what they listen is an adult talking point. This is what I always say. What I see in 20 years of, of, of education is different from what I see outside of the room. Outside of the room, everybody is inclusive. Everybody working together. Everybody cooperating each other. They are friends. They don't have any kind of issue. They are do they are not hard outside the room. This is what I if I I I am a student. I always want to have that, the cooperation we have inside the room. Don't change that because this is important for us. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to say before we get off the line here? I just thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk. And, and like I say, I believe in education because education give everything to me. Um, and I know what is the American dream because I am the American dream. I get it. And I know what happened inside the classroom because for 20 years, I always be there. Nobody told me I'd be there. This is the reason I run for this position and I hope I win. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you uh, taking time to visit with us. And like I said, today is just a sample of who you are um, at our candidate forum. Um, we'll dive a little bit deeper on some of the issues. And then at our luncheon event, um, people will get to meet you and ask you questions. So uh, we still have some more time together. And um, again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, you too.